Dear friends, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to our Every Pedagogical Conference. My name is Ephraim Eliav, and I am serving as a director of the Interrail World Research Institute, Every. And I would like now to share my screen in order to uh, have a presentation. This is my short presentation. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, the uh, title of uh, our conference, as you see, is uh, um, the education in the era of change. And the conference will be devoted to presenting different ways of uh, transforming the world educational system to overcome the world crisis without destructions and conflicts. Our conference will be provided in two languages, in English and Russian, with simultaneous translation. And it will be broadcasted in these two languages as well, on YouTube and Facebook. You are very welcome to share the broadcast links among your friends, relatives and colleagues. And uh, also you can ask questions online. We have uh, a team of moderators who will transfer your inquiries to presenters. And then uh, uh, we will answer the questions. We are gathering, as you know, during two sessions. Today and uh, uh, tomorrow, you see the precise times. And uh, we have uh, 11 uh, presenters uh, from eight different countries, uh, from Great Britain, Turkey, Israel, United States, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and South Africa. Among them, you can find uh, scholars, university lectures, teachers, medical doctors, engineers, journalists, artists, and students. And the uh, additional information and update about the conference, you can always see a check on our website, which is mentioned here. Okay, and uh, uh, the goals of our conference are the following. First of all, we would like to uh, consolidate the efforts of scholars, educators, and specialists in uh, pedagogy uh, in developing of the main uh, strategies and practice of the universal global education system, which uh, should be suitable for children and for adults, and should be adequate to the challenges of the 21st century. On the base of this education, we would like to ensure the proper ways of uh, strategic uh, development of our uh, society, harmonization of social ties and the relationship, development of the integral approach for social, economic, and political management, in particular in our uh, time of global crises caused by pandemic and other natural and social diseases. So we are very welcome and uh, uh, actually, I am ready to start with my presentation. Okay, so um, the title of my presentation is Integral Education as the Response to Challenges of the 21st uh, uh, Century. And uh, I'd like to sketch... Uh, here in my talk, uh, the scientific background, the goals, structure, and features of the integral education system, which is nowadays is under development in IVRI, in order to provide an uh, adequate response to the challenges of the 21st uh, cen century. I'm actually uh, listing here the main the main challenges of the 21st century, 
According to the James Martin, who is a well-known uh, author and the uh, Pulitzer Prize winner, and he also is a founder of the 21st Century Institute and the Institute for Science and Civilization in Oxford uh, University. So uh, uh, his uh, thoughts were grouped by me into four categories. The first is the uh, confronting of existential risk, uh, saving the Earth uh, from uh, uh, pollution, from other ecological diseases and crimes of people, uh, dangerous and unbalanced climate changes, and many other uh, uh, dangerous things. And we also want to uh, prevent all-out war, which is uh, very close uh, to begin in our days. Uh, we also would like to defuse uh, uh, terrorism, who, uh, which also became very uh, dangerous, especially in our time of uh, uh, technology development. The second group is uh, devoted to achieving of sustainable lifestyles. We would like uh, to reverse the uh, uh, poverty without all the world, conquering disease, and especially pandemic uh, diseases. And uh, the third um, group is uh, devoted to exploring uh, transhumanism. Uh, the first point is so-called uh, the solution of the uh, singularity uh, uh, pro uh, problem. The singularity is connected with the explosive uh, development of um, uh, technologies, especially with the development of um, uh, artificial uh, intelligence. Uh, because um, it's um, it's uh, accelerated development could lead to uh, lose uh, con con control uh, on the development of and functioning of all these uh, uh, systems. So this um, uh, problem should be solved. We also want to uh, plan in the advanced civilization modeling the planet uh, system. And the last um, uh, issue is we would like to expand the human potential. Means uh, we, we, it, it is very good we can uh, develop our educational system in order to uh, cultivate uh, creativity and, and the, uh, humanity and bridging, bring, uh, bridging the skill and wisdom gap. So all these uh, challenging ch challenges should be addressed. And uh, uh, so uh, what kind of uh, uh, approaches or tips we can get from different kind of uh, uh, people and group of people? Uh, most of national governments actually they uh, they going with so called the social uh, Darwinistic approach, or actually it is um, nothing else by but the uh, jungle law. Each and every nation is actually uh, want to be isolated and solve this uh, uh, global problem by uh, itself. And uh, as we will see, it, it is not it is not. Uh, uh, possible already in our days. The next point is coming from the transhumanism uh, movement, and I want to transfer solution on the artist, uh, artificial intelligent uh, sh sh uh, sh shoulder, which is actually also could not work because uh, the artificial intelligence itself uh, is uh, a a great uh, problem, especially if we are talking so about so-called general or strong artificial intelligence, which could be uh, even stronger than human intelligence. So we can really uh, 
uh, as I have already told, uh, lose our uh, control on the, its uh, development. The next point is uh, the uh, creation of new civilization on a different planet outside the Earth, like Mars or Moon. And this is uh, the uh, approach which uh, Elon Musk uh, is uh, 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 promoting now nowadays. And uh, this uh, solution could be also done only for the small amount of very rich people if it uh, could be done from technical point of view. So uh, the next tip is coming from Yuval Harari, well-known uh, historian and uh, 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 also the uh, philosopher. And he is uh, uh, giving uh, the following tip, the global problems demands only global uh, so solution, which is absolutely true. And uh, thus, in a way, uh, we uh, really think that uh, there is a clear need for the changing of the very scientific and social uh, paradigm for human development. And this is the actually the point where we are starting from. Now, if we just uh, also uh, decide to have a tip from some greatest mind from the previous century, then um, uh, probably it is appropriate to uh, quote here Albert Einstein, who just uh, said that it is impossible to solve a problem at the same level as it is originated. We need to be higher, rising to the next level. Or, but uh, he actually didn't explain what is the uh, this next level, and uh, we will try to answer to this question later. But um, uh, at the same time, I would like to quote one of his um, uh, uh, close friend and uh, collaborator, uh, Kurt uh, Gödel, who actually said that uh, a handful of atoms, and he means by this uh, uh, humans, cannot fully investigate themselves. They really need to see themselves uh, from some outside point of view. Uh, so we would like to, uh, to just have some uh, nature hints or uh, advices in order really to be able to solve these uh, uh, challenges of the 21st century. And uh, the first hint is uh, uh, coming from the uh, laws of uh, synergy and evaluation of uh, complexity that we are uh, just uh, seeing it in the nation. What is the uh, synergy? Synergy is the most pronounced uh, many body or group effect in nature. And it is defined uh, via the non-additivity of properties of the system, or in other words, the synergy is the phenomenon when a property of the whole system is not equal to the sum of the properties of its parts, of, a, of its uh, sub, sub, subsystems. There are uh, four basic level of um, uh, the meta organization uh, and the complexity. You know that there are still vegetative, animate, uh, human, or speaking, spiritual, or uh, global le le level. And uh, uh, with, with the rise of the level of the meta organization, the power of synergy is also rising. The simple example of the synergy. Of, on the steel level is a chemistry bond, uh, which leads, for example, um, uh, in the case of um, uh, molecule of water that you are seeing it on, on the screen, uh, to the following effect. The properties of the water 
uh, very different from the properties of hydrogen and oxygen to atoms or to substances that this uh, molecule, mo mo molecule is uh, constructed from. And these properties are really differ on both macro and micro levels. So this is uh, really a very outstanding example of uh, uh, synergy. On the next uh, level of living uh, organism, the uh, synergy is much higher and it leads uh, to more pronounced and to complex effects. Actually, life itself is a, a synergetic effect or result of complex bio biochemistry interactions. Can you please guess what do you see uh, on my slide? It uh, looks like uh, some complex uh, excavations. And you can see the same place from a uh, different uh, uh, point of view. And I probably uh, guess that you have already the answer. And the answer is that you see here the reason of all this giant uh, uh, construction. And the reason is very small, and very simple. And you see here the gi giant ant uh, colony or ant hill or ant city. Uh, and uh, uh, if uh, we are talking about uh, this uh, simple ant that uh, 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 the single Insect has uh, almost no brain and uh, uh, consciousness, but uh, uh, the co colony as a super organism uh, possess uh, really uh, a, a high level of uh, uh, intelligence. And this is really another outstanding example of uh, synergy. This uh, uh, example is so great that um, Mark Twain, the famous author, has also, also uh, written on this subject that the uh, synergy is the bonus that is achieved when things work uh, together uh, harmoniously. Then if we are going to the level of humans, uh, like many philosophers, biologists, and anthropologists supposed, after the ideas of uh, uh, well-known scientist Herbert, uh, Herbert Spencer, the human evolution is not uh, completed yet. And uh, uh, the next uh, uh, humans uh, are uh, the most collaborative animals in the world, as it was uh, already uh, probably mentioned uh, in the uh, books and speeches of uh, uh, the same y Yuval uh, Harari mentioned being by previous slide. And so it's, this means that uh, the next uh, point of the uh, evolution of uh, human beings uh, could be really very similar of the same evolution of the um uh, uh, animals like uh, bees or the same ants. Uh, so uh, people, the next point of human uh, evolution uh, from uh, the point of view of many uh, evolutionists, it should be a united uh, humanity as a single life super uh, organism possessing absolutely incredible level of uh, uh, synergetic uh, consciousness. And the only uh, from this level of uh, consciousness, from my point of view, will be never reached uh, by the artificial form of intelligence. 
And the only question is uh, how reach such a sense energetic connection between people to transfer all humanity uh, to the level of uh, super uh, organism, organization. Uh, it couldn't be done automatically like in the case of collective animals, uh, like uh, the same ants. Uh, people possess minds and should collectively agree and consciously build such super organisms. And thus we are coming to the nature hints number two. And this is uh, 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 the point which is uh, told, which just uh, uh, make it clear that the world is round and uh, uh, hierarchical or linear. Actually, these uh, two uh, sy symmetries in, in nature, I mean, round uh, or so-called or spherical symmetry and the, and the linear symmetry are the most important symmetry in the universe. And uh, the linear symmetry is uh, responsible mostly for the hierarchical structures in nature. And the round, the circle symmetry is more appropriate for the description of the structure and fun functionality of the matter uh, of the same uh, nature and the uh, complexity belonging to the same level of uh, hierarchy. And I have depicted here a few important examples of uh, secular symmetry in nature, like uh, atomic nuclear uh, and atoms in, uh, themselves. Actually, uh, the next is the uh, DNA helix, where the secular symmetry is combined with the linear. And even the periodic table of elements is probably more uh, profitable to present or build in the uh, round a secular form. And you will then check much more connection between the uh, chemical elements in this form. Uh, you were talking about the elementary particle, uh, particles. Then uh, actually it is well known fact that uh, uh, these elementary particles could be uh, described by special mathematical theory, which also use the uh, spherical symmetry, so-called SU3 group. And if we are going to the uh, macro world, uh, then we can also see a lot of examples of uh, a spherical and round structure there, like uh, planets or uh, stars, or even uh, galaxies and entire universe. But uh, uh, we, we are going to, to the uh, world of uh, living uh, creatures. Then, for instance, uh, this uh, nice uh, fl fl flower has the same uh, round uh, or cir circular uh, symmetry. The, uh, what about uh, the human? Uh, society. What kind of uh, circular structure it should have in order to bring to the true uh, synergetic collection? And this is the question, and uh, this question we would like also answer to our theoretical, in our uh, uh, in, in, in new integral uh, scientific uh, parad paradigm, and also uh, implement in our integral education. Okay, so the next uh, will be the uh, thought hint, hint. And uh, this hint uh, uh, is telling us that uh, the world is uh, uh, actually more informational rather than uh, material. Uh, Mata uh, which is uh, existing in the form of particles in waves. In the modern physical picture of the world are uh, considered nothing else, not, nothing more than certain topological informational vacuum structure. 
I mean, it's actually there is no matter, and we are built from this web construction. So we are also able to regard ourselves like the pure information. And then also, you know, that the storage, the transmission, and the assimilation of information are nowadays central factor, not only in physics and informatics, uh, but also in, in biology, uh, phys uh, physiology, sociology, history, art, and other areas in human activity, in particular in study of uh, consciousness. Uh, the 21st century is a century of uh, information, uh, knowledge, as you know, and the informational uh, technology. Possession and correction use of information has become as a, as a, a very essential characteristic of human existence, including the knowledge and perception of uh, reality. So the uh, fundamental concepts in laws in all human knowledge and perception of reality, especially in uh, uh, con consciousness uh, models, should be redefined throughout the information, uh, informational structures and flaws. Uh, thus, uh, in our integral uh, scientific paradigm, for instance, we are regarding the brain-mind problem uh, as a hardware-software informational connection. The very sim similar approach in our days, uh, people who are uh, working in the IE, artificial intelligence, also are applying. So let me transfer to the next uh, point. And uh, here you can see the every uh, response to the challenges of the 21st uh, century. And it is uh, actually the scientific integral uh, paradigm and integral education. Uh, the, uh, here I have just, well, just a moment. Here I just uh, have uh, enumerated the uh, scientific uh, paradigm in uh, one sen sen sentence. Actually, we would like to use uh, uh, the uh, novel scientific re re reinterpretation and re rationalization on the base of uh, collectiveness, integrality, uh, synergy, complexity, similarity, and emergency of the uh, most complex uh, phenomena in uh, nature and society, like uh, global evolution, life, consciousness, human being and uh, uh, civilization. And there are three actually basic scientific principles that uh, we uh, have uh, agreed upon in our uh, institute. First is that our reality is in integral. It means that it is interconnected, interdependent, casual, uh, purposeful and uh, synergetic. The second is that um, development of integral and collective perception of uh, uh, re reality, which is actually the same as the level of consciousness, and the corresponding regularization of our civilization life will lead to harmonious and peaceful existence of all the humanity and the single united super organism. Uh, Otherwise, uh, it will be not possible to make such kind of uh, uh, development to, to the single United Superorganism, which uh, by us also regarded as the uh, final point of the human evolution. Then, in order to get the integral perception and harmonious synergetic connection between all people, leading to the new level of humanity in life, consciousness, uh, as a super organism, the appropriate integral forms of education and social management should be development. And this is actually the main, the, the main, uh, uh, the, the main 
uh, projects that we are doing in our um, institute. Uh, the next uh, slide is uh, connected with the uh, comparison uh, with the uh, comparing of our integral scientific uh, paradigm and the regular science. Actually, we are talking about the regular science, then I have just depicted it as, as a plane uh, with two aces experiment, which is uh, mostly depending on, on the uh, human sen senses and the theory, which is mostly lived by the human mind. So these two uh, uh, aces define the actually plane of the science. I have depicted different kind of uh, stage of uh, development of experimental investigation and uh, theoretical investigation of uh, uh, re reality. But the point, of, but the, from the point of view of consciousness level, all this plane is belonging to the individual uh, point or individual uh, consciousness. And uh, this is actually the main uh, pro problem of the modern science, who, which is still uh, working in the uh, paradigm of uh, uh, the uh, individual uh, sen 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 senses of particular uh, res research. Sometimes we know that there is a, a collaboration between scientists between uh, researchers, but uh, mostly this uh, collaboration leads to, to the division of uh, uh, la labor. And we are not can talk about some kind of um, uh, synergetic uh, connection between people who really leads to a higher level of uh, uh, consciousness, like we have seen uh, in the case of uh, collective uh, uh, animals like uh, plants. And we in our uh, institute, uh, we uh, really want to develop a, a more higher uh, synergetic level of consciousness. And I have depicted them on this uh, additional thought uh, uh, axis on my picture. So we can go from individual to uh, conjugate consciousness and then to the group, into group, uh, the consciousness of humanity as a super organism, and actually to the global consciousness as well. And what we are trying to develop in our uh, integral education, just um, a really a practical, uh, practical uh system how to rise on this level of uh, uh, consciousness. So uh, the uh, solution of the 21st century challenges is uh, from our point of view in synergetic integral connection, which uh, lead to the new synergetic life at the level of global uh, humanity. And uh, this uh, life could be uh, characterized, characterized by mutual agreement, mutual uh, compliance, mutual assistance, mutual surety, and mutual love as well. And uh, it will really lead to the complete harmony of human society and nature. Uh, we believe, and uh, but for the implementation, we need to to uh, all these uh, educational systems and all these ideas should be massively uh, disseminated through uh, mass media, as we believe, through social uh, network, and also to be uh, uh, educated. Okay. So I will just uh, enumerate here uh, some basic um, uh, components of the integral 
uh, education system that we are developing in Ivry. Uh, as I have already told, in the, uh, integral education should be based on integral scientific uh, paradigm that I have already presented it. It's actually uh, mean that uh, the integrality of nature and that is a purposeful evolution toward, towards the formation of universal human super, uh, super organism, which lives on a new a collective synergetic and harmonious level of feelings and mind. What this is mean, actually, the essence of our integral education, of, of our uh, integral scientific uh, paradigm. The next is uh, uh, that um, uh, integral education provides integral uh, knowledge and skills. Uh, we supposed to develop uh, the integral educational system, which will uh, uh, strengthen the, the social ties and leads to development of the extraordinary level of, create, of uh, creativity in thinking, understanding, and some in central uh, intelligence of uh, our uh, students. And the integral education uh, explores uh, in integral forms and methods of teaching. And I will also uh, pre present uh, uh, this point of view very briefly. And we are supposed to develop uh, the educational system actually for all uh, ages, both for uh, ch 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 children and uh, adults. Uh, so let me briefly uh, depict it here what is the integral knowledge or what kind of integral knowledge are we supposed to give to our students. First of all, we would like to teach them that um, uh, the nature's law could be in two different forms in differential, like uh, in every school we are learning or in every university, but it could be also written in integral form. The uh, nature's laws are casual, and uh, there are also purposeful re relationship in nature and the uh, society. The next is that uh, the information is uh, the uh, and informational ties are uh, fundamental ties in nature and fundamental integral principle of uh, information leads, leads uh, to the proper uh, functionality of our uh, reality. And also uh, our universe is holographic, fractal, uh, integrative and uh, uh, purposeful. Uh, the third is um, um, uh, we will also teach some objective uh, methods of research and disclosure of the nature, uh, nature laws. The laws of the structure and functioning of uh, consciousness are very important in our uh, curriculum. The role of the levels of consciousness in uh, uh, cognition of uh, reality will be also uh, teached. Uh, then uh, uh, complex, uh, complex integral systems in uh, nature, especially the phenomenon of life, uh, the uh, sensors and mind as the uh, com composition of the uh, consciousness, different levels and desires of consciousness, we will also teach stages of global evolution and the theory of super organism. And then uh, we uh, also will, uh, uh, we are planning to, to, to teach our students what is the uh, self, 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 selfishness and how it could be transformed to uh, altruism. We will teach about the central intelligence, uh, intelligence about the uh, socialization, the synergetic wisdom of the integral group, integral personality 
in the integral uh, com com community in the construction of the living universal hum human uh, super, super uh, organism by stages will be also uh, teached. Then integral skills. Uh, we want to teach the following skill skills. First of all, feeling of a neighbor. Then effective and integral uh, com communication. The art of listener and speaker. Then uh, the next will be the uh, cho choosing of the optimal environment. Methods for overcoming social distance. Integral negotiations and round table uh, form of uh, com uh, com communication. Resolution of conflicts and crises with the strength, strengthening of the social ties. The next will be integral uh, morality and ethics. We would like to teach our students uh, how to develop the collective, uh, intelligent, and group uh, feelings. Uh, then creative, integral thinking and the objective cognition of uh, reality, different approach to these skills will be also, also uh, teached. Uh, evolving virtual uh, com, uh, com communication, uh, development stage of integral virtual uh, communities and social net networks. Uh, then this, the following uh, skills also will be teach effective self-government uh, and social management skills, decision-making uh, methods, uh, goal setting and planning, the, the art of learning and teaching, team building and uh, uh, leadership, integral economics and uh, uh, politics. And the last but not least uh, point uh, which I would like to stress about uh, what kind of skills we would like to teach, it, to, to teach in our integral school will be the following, the meaning of individual life and um, uh, the meaning of uh, life of, of all humanity, self-realization uh, uh, as the realization of the goals of the universe, Integral psychology and uh, so sociology, friendship, love, family, society, and the uh, uh, united humanity as a super uh, organism. And I would like to briefly uh, put uh, several points which are connected with our integral uh, methodol methodology uh, of uh, Teaching actually the integral uh, pedagogy. First of all, we'd like to implement uh, uh, the roundtable uh, methodology at the basis of the educational uh, process. We are splitting the students into the world well, group of eight, ten people. We are calling these groups tens, and they are studying uh, uh, together as a round table and also spending leisure time uh, together, mostly. Uh, we would like to develop uh, uh, the collective skills of mutual understanding, reciprocity, mutual assistance, mutual support, and mutual responsibility intense using our specific round table uh, methodology and between tense. Then extensive use of integral games and sim, sim, uh, simulation in study and recreation will be also uh, used and uh, uh, implemented. Uh, we would like to combine the individual and collective approach to our uh, teaching uh, process. It means that uh, consistent development of individual uh, talents and abilities of a uh, st student will be always uh, supported by group. And also it will be implemented in group uh, learning. 
uh, in the, we will have special integral collective brainstorming session when uh, this uh, combination of individual and collective approaches will be uh, particular uh, stress and particular explored. The next point is uh, we will not use to put the personal grades, only uh, ground assessment will be explored. Uh, it means that the competition between students is only on the basis of mutual assistance and uh, uh, re re uh, revenue. And whoever helps other most will, will, will win. Uh, mutual guarantee in groups and between groups will be also uh, developed. And a regular participation in joint integral events like round table, integral games, and simulation trips uh, together with parents, if we are talking about kids, and uh, teachers will be also used. Uh, so you can just uh, 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 see in our website what kind of educational projects we are. Uh, developing and uh, our site is uh, uh, going through the uh, renovation our days and, um, and not all the information is still available there but uh, some of our uh, project at least uh, two of them and I mean integral education for ch 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 children will be presented partially here by Alina Fernandez team uh, today and the um, educational uh, integral education approach for adults in the form of um, uh, family education project will be presented by Maxim Savinkov uh, tomorrow so please uh, uh, visit this presentation uh, we have some kind of similar integral education approach available worldwide, but still our approach is, uh, uh, from my point of view, more uh, fundamental, and it really try to use the most advanced uh, scientific and uh, uh, pedagogical uh, techniques. But if we are talking the um, uh, similar approaches in the world that uh, I would like to mention here. Uh, Ken Wilber, Integral uh, University, which is a part of Integral uh, Institute. Uh, Ken Wilber is a well, well-known philosopher and educator. And so he developed also his programs in John uh, Kennedy University and Fielding Graduate University. Actually, some of his idea, ideas has been also uh, developed in uh, uh, North Europe by seeing uh, as beyond uh, uh, Hardens. And uh, both of them has, has been written a few books about the integral educational approach. Then the uh, California Institute of Integral uh, st studies, which is leading in our time by Heridas Chodhuris, also should be uh, mentioned. And there are some additional approaches, like approach of Dr. Uh, John, John Johnson, who has organized the Odyssey Integral School, or Next Step Integral uh, ed Education System. And there are few uh, other approaches available in the uh, uh, internet, but still our integral uh, approach is really uh, more, um, uh, more uh, scientifically based from my point of view. <clears throat> okay, uh, thank you for your attention and uh, I'm ready to answer to your questions if there are such please uh, thank you so much professor Ephraim.
Uh, we got a question from YouTube, and the question is, uh, what is consciousness that you mentioned, according to Ivory? Okay, so you started to ask me the most uh, complicated uh, uh, question. Uh, actually, according to Ivory, uh, the consciousness we are defining through the uh, combination of uh, uh, feelings and the uh, uh, mind. So this is another problem. How do you define the feelings in, in mind? And uh, uh, it will be really not uh, easy task because um, actually most of uh, feelings we are just uh, describing. We are uh, des describing the uh, property and also mind. We also define through the, not the exact uh, definition, but uh, describing how it is used and um, uh, different kind of features of it. But uh, I believe that um, on some later stage, we will come uh, on, on, on really some kind of uh, uh, more uh, exact definition using the uh, informational uh, theory. Okay. Thank you so much. Another question for you is um, it's also from YouTube. How has the pandemic affected the manifestation of integral forces in society? How has the pandemic, the coronavirus, affected the manifestation of integral forces in society. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for this question as well. From one point, we see that um, our uh, society, I mean, the world society become more and more global. For the very first time, we see the uh, pandemic, which really uh, is uh, uh, functioning through the old globe. Uh, and uh, uh, as uh, I have already mentioned, this global disease needs the global uh, sol sol solution. And this is the main uh, pro problem concerning our humanity. As you know, different uh, countries or group of countries trying to uh, make their own uh, pro pro progress in uh, fighting the degrees. But the collaboration between these uh, countries, especially we are talking about the uh, vaccination or uh, other efficient form of uh, uh, preventing these uh, degrees, these uh, uh, diseases, it's not uh, still uh, functioning well. And the problem is uh, the uh, ego of uh, uh, different uh, group of uh, people, of uh, countries, of uh, 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 parliaments, of uh, different kind of com companies, uh, which are not uh, probably very I interested still in this global kind of uh, uh, solution, etc. So till we will not develop this uh, universal integral uh, educational approaches which show to all the people that we are actually one single super organism. And this disease actually shows us that this super organism in, is now being ill and it uh, needs uh, some common uh, approach, a single approach to uh, just eliminate this uh, disease. So we need to be uh, really united to make the real uh, pr progress in this uh, aspect. Thank you so much. I think that's all the questions we have from YouTube. Okay. Thank you very much. And I will transfer the mic to our uh, moderator, 
Cynthia, please. Thank you very much for this amazing and super interesting uh, conference. It was a uh, really pleasure to hear you, Professor. Thank you very much. I remember everybody to that we have this uh, this conference in YouTube, in Facebook. So please share your your links with your relatives, your families, and colleagues, please. And we have similar 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 translate uh, translation to Russian in English and English to Russian. So uh, also be aware of these links from the, for for the translation. And let's go uh, straight to the, to the, our next presenter. <laughs> 